Hi everyone and welcome to this new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how you can define and implement goals in Matomo Analytics for a given website. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to know about goals is that this is the most important thing to do when you are dealing with a digital analytics project. So to make it simple, goals correspond to the reason why you built your website or app. So let's imagine that you have an e-commerce website, for example, an e-commerce website has been designed in order to receive orders. For the sake of the example of today, we are working for the uh, non-profit organization website which is called WebAsos, which is uh, located in France and which is helping other non-profit organizations about how to deal with uh, web technologies. And uh, for this given uh, website, actually, they have some goals which are about uh, getting some volunteers and as well about, uh, of course, uh, people registering to uh, their newsletter in order to get some help. And uh, in order to start uh, defining goals, the best piece of advice I can give you as an analyst is to ask directly to your client what are their goals for their website and how do they would like to achieve them. Uh, it's going to save you a lot of time, so please uh, do so. For example, in my case, I sent the question to the uh, end client and the end client answered me that okay goal number one is to measure the newsletter subscription uh, for uh, the non-profit organization uh, program and as well to measure the number of people who would like to volunteer and what is great in the answer that they gave me is actually they are even explaining me how this given goal can be converted on the website and that's really where you are saving a lot of time as an analyst because if you ask this simple question, which is how those goals are going to be converted on your website, then your customer is going to give you more information about things that you probably you would not have seen on your website uh, straight away. So just to give you one example, uh, on this given website, there are several ways to subscribe to the newsletter. It can be either by going here on the association and then uh, clicking on this link. Then it can be as well when you go down the page and click, uh, click over here in the footer right on one of those two links. And that, those are the thing I could not have guessed by myself without spending hours on the website. So just by asking to your end customer about what are the goals to track and how they are converting on the website, you will see that you're going to save a lot of time. Then uh, about the thing which are very important when you define goal is to know clearly what do they want to measure, what is the priority order in the goals, because of course you can measure so many things with Matomo Analytics that you want to get a priority order and you would like as well to know what are the different actions in order to measure those goals. So here I'm very lucky because the client gave me everything that I need. Once they give you the, this answer, you need actually to uh, make it happen in a document such as this one. I mean, that's the kind of document that analysts are used to work with. They want to get the name of the goal. They want to get the description of it. They want to know the action. And as well, they always need to have like a comments field because when they will try to test on the website, all those goals are going to be implemented. They will see that it's not possible or at least it should be done in a way which may require extra budget and so on and so forth. So. Here it's kind of interesting and that's why I love this project because when they send me the requirement in terms of goals, I went on their website and I tried to make those specific action like registering to uh, the newsletter. And if I click over here on this given link, as you can see, it's redirecting to a subdomain on which Matomo is not installed. So it means that here I'm trapped and in fact, the goals that you, they would like me to measure, I cannot track it directly unless the make some modification to the website. Okay, so this is where the column and the column comments is getting very handy because you can really precise, okay, that was your goal. The goal was about uh, measuring the subscription of the newsletter, but I need to change it right now to intent to subscribe to the newsletter because uh, I cannot measure what's happening on the subdomain on which uh, the action is performing. So here, typically for the goal, I'm going to change it out. And I'm going to say, okay, this is the solution that I suggest at the moment if you would like to measure a goal because I cannot do it with the current website. And that's a bit the same thing with the second goal that they had, the intent to volunteer. What I saw is that actually it's redirecting to a Google form on which I cannot insert any tracking code. And as well, that actually um, 
it's not redirecting all the time to the Google form. Sometimes it's redirecting to another link, which is then uh, redirecting to the Google form. So uh, that's the part the analyst need to do. It need to see if it's possible to track those goals and then offer some possibilities like I'm doing here uh, as a pivot in order to say, okay, but uh, we cannot do it, but we're going to do it this way until the website is modified according to uh, the modification that I'm uh, recommending. Okay, so now let's start to let's go to the implementation of those goals in Matomo Analytics. So, in order to implement the goals in Matomo Analytics, you have one column which is dedicated to it. Right, this is what you can see over here. It's name goal, and when you click here on add a new goal, you get the different possibility in order to integrate the goal. Here, in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use a feature that probably most of you. Uh, don't know about which is called manual so manual means that i'm not going to use those uh, by default uh, features and the reason why i don't want to use those features is that i don't want um, to get uh, very few control over my goal i want to get full control and in my case as the goals are reached every time that someone is clicking on an external website as you can see i will need to follow this specific pattern that i don't want i prefer to go my own pattern so that's why i'm going to go for manual instead so i'm going to give the name of my goal so in my case that intent to subscribe to the newsletter so i'm just going to copy that and paste it over here intent to subscribe to the newsletter then i can give my description and as i did my work properly i can just uh, copy and paste here so that's why uh, doing your work on paper is going to help a lot in order for you to go uh, faster and then uh, here you just need to precise if this goal can be achieved multiple times so in my case probably if i want to volunteer i'm not going to send like thousands of forms in order to volunteer so i'm going to choose the default goal so it can be only converted once uh, there's no revenue here because in any case it's a non-profit organization so there's no revenue behind so that's my first goal then i'm going to define another goal so don't be scared by uh, defining goals or things like this because in any cases you can rename them afterward or you can even um, delete the data which have been inserting uh, within it as you have full access to the database so don't be scared it's not like in google or something like this when you cannot uh, remove something afterward um, and that's it okay so now my two goals are defined as uh, they are here and now i need to be able to push data to each of them so uh, the only thing i'm interested in is the id because that's what we are going to use uh, as a tag manager so uh, now let's uh, define our goal so we're going to call the first one goal number one so i'll go for my two more analytics and i'm going to say that it's uh, so it's goal one and goal one is goal one okay and uh, intent to subscribe to the newsletter and as you can see here uh, the goal is achieved when visitor click on a link which is redirecting to something okay so here i am uh matomo configuration i still want to send it where i want and then goal so in my case that's the goal number one and then if i just go down below here i just need to precise on which uh, link the action is happening so in my case it's uh, it's a link click and the link click is the one about uh, let's see crm something right link click crm and uh, it's a click with a destination url which equals to and in my case uh, probably this link is not going to change over time so i can just copy and paste it as it is and uh, and that should be all right okay so as i'm not 100 percent sure that it's going to work i'm just going to click here on create the new tag and I'm going to move as preview and debug mode. Okay, so here I am. Okay, and let's go over here and let's go back to the WebSOS website. Okay, great. So here I am. Okay, yep, so I'm going to clear my cache. Okay, it's fine anyway. Um, and now what I need to measure is this link. Unfortunately, it's going to probably load it in another uh, tab. So let's hope I'm lucky. Okay, great. So here I got like two links. The first one is no tags have been fired. Okay, it doesn't matter. And the other one is goal one intent to subscribe to the newsletter. So this one seems to have worked. Now let's see within Matomo if my tracking code has been uh, received so normally i will get my own visits for today 
it should have been pushed. So let's go over here and let's check within the view. Okay, so this one has achieved something, seems like my IP address. And wow, intend to subscribe to the newsletter. So this one is seems to be good and it's kind of great because this one is working at the first attempt. Okay, now let's see for the second one. So here is the second one. Uh -huh. So we go for the tag manager again and we're gonna implement the second one. So goal two and the next things. Okay, so we go over here and go over here and just say goal two, goal two. By the way, what I'm showing is just one way of doing the thing. Many analysts are working in a total on different way. That's just my way. I will have handled uh, the project and probably if I will have more time to deal with, I will have worked in another way. Or if the project was a little bit different, I will have worked it in another way. Or if I was working with another tool, I will have worked in another way and so on and so forth. So it's just not set into stone. Uh, everything can change. Um, and we are doing almost the same thing here. It's just that the trigger is going to be a little bit different. So it's here it's um, all element click. No, that's not all element click. I went too fast. Uh, so I need to create a new trigger and this is a link click. OK, uh, link click I can keep it as an S because it's either Google form or, um, or uh, web sales without dub 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 because this is what is happening here. Uh, it's just when there's no dub dub dub. Okay, uh, and here the links uh, they are kind of yep. So I'm gonna just copy this one and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna say okay, click destination URL. So that's the one. And it's uh, equal to this. And then unfortunately, this is a or. So I will need to add another one. Okay. So here I can either use a match the regular expression and put a or, but it needs that I will need to escape all those given special characters. So that's not something I would like to go for. So in my case, I'm just going to go like this i'm gonna do something like this link click google form and i'm gonna add another tag that may not be the best way but that's the way i'm gonna go for um so i'm gonna create this new tag and i'm gonna now uh, create another tag goal to intent to volunteer with another um yep so goal two and uh, same thing, in fact, here's just a goal, it's just the number two. And I'm just gonna create a new trigger. And it's a uh, link click. Web access without dub dub dub. Because in any case, this one is subject to change in the future, as I guess, as I will do the redirection fine. And uh, now I just need to copy and paste. So in my case, that's not the link. In my case, that's going to be the following link. So copy and link. And and that's it, right? OK, so that's the good link uh, without the dub dub dub. And I just need now to make it with a nice name. And it's almost finished. So intent to volunteer. And just in order to ensure uh, dub, 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 dub. Just in order to precise that there are two different tags. OK. And now I can create my tag. And I have my preview mode still on, so it's still fine. Uh, if I go now over here and that I refresh my page, OK. Um, so I'm going to link on, I'm going to click on this given link, right? As you can see, uh, several tags have been fired. I'm going to do it again. Whoops, I probably just need to add my, add my preview mode on. OK, so preview mode on. OK, I got it. All I want to do is just to ensure that only this link is fired and not the other one. I mean, this tag. So here I go 
are here, no tags, no tags, no tags. Okay, so I'm all good. I'm all good here. And if I go like um, how to uh, become a volunteer and I click over here, I will get probably so no tag for your goal. Okay, goal to intent to volunteer and let's see. Okay, the sevens have not been fired, so I'm all good here. And um, yeah, so it seems actually it's working. Of course, I will need to investigate a little bit more, but let's have a look over here. Okay, so here intent to volunteer, which is the case. It was on dock, uh, on dock something. Here it's fine. Here it's fine as well. So looks good. Normally I should have convert twice because those two goals are totally different one another. Um, and that that's it. So it seems that it's working. Of course, I will need to um, investigate, let's say a little bit more. I mean, I will need to see over time if uh, nothing is breaking on the website. I will need as well to inform that on the 31st of March of May, I played on the website. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to create an annotation in order to say that today I tried. Uh, so I implemented the different goals, different goals for the website. And that's it. So now I just save it and that's it for today. So I just show you how you can uh, define your goals, how you can implement them and how you can test that the implementation is working well. And that's it for today. So I really hope that you enjoy this video as an exercise. Uh, try to take any website that you are uh, playing with and try to define the goals and try to implement them and test with Matomo Tag Manager if the tracking is working properly. Once more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to share um, your videos on the internet. Thanks.